Yeah, they literally were putting their hands underneath my door and trying to um, fight me. Hey guys, what's up? It's Madeline Rebecca and today I'm here to talk to you about something that has been bothering me for a while. Um, I don't want to say bothering, I guess, but this is a story time about whenever... Yeah, I almost got beat up. This is me really showing a lot of my information with you guys. So take this as a compliment. Also, um, I'm not gonna say names due to purposes of confidentiality as well as I have gotten over it, but this was just a huge moment in my life and I figured somebody might be able to relate out there. So let's talk about it. Also, I'm in my sister's room. So Jillian, if you're watching this, I um, apologize, but your room has great lighting. Also, if you've never been to my account before, my name is Madeline Rebecca. I post every single Monday, but um, this week is not a Monday. But it's still, I try to, so. <laughs> Madeline Rebecca here, and I post about really anything and everything. Growing my channel, um, just trying to get out of my comfort zone. So follow along for the journey, like for more, subscribe just to let me know that you're there, and let's get started with today's video. So I decided to do random roommate. I did this in Murray, and it went great. Like I have, I had a random roommate, and she's still my like best friend right now. Um, we were polar opposites. She's from a small country town and loves to live on a farm. Sweetest girl ever in the world. And me, I was raised a completely different way. So being close with her was super shocking. But like, she's one of those people that I don't think we would have ever been friends without this. Um, but I was truly blessed by meeting her. I came back to um, SIU, I figured, well, I might as well just go ahead and do random roommates again. I had three roommates. Um, but it was a four bedroom apartment and it was really really like it went well for a while one of the girls moved out a little early so it ended up just being three of us in there and i got really close with one of the girls i don't want to say like super super close but like she was really cool it was really nice having like dance my friends on the side and then like having different roommates like it was a different crowd of people it pushes you out of your comfort zone everything's great um, and then i ended up getting a dog which the dog was a terror, <laughs> but I was just trying to be a dog owner. So they did deal with that process. Sorry, this just makes me feel uncomfortable to talk about. So I said, watch my dog one day and they were all cool with it. Like, I mean, they, they liked the dog, like nothing was wrong. I just personally like the dog was <laughs> very, um, he just, he wasn't a people person. Like he was okay with the people he was around. Um, he liked them, so everything was fine. And also that was in the early stages of me getting the dog. And like, he was, my dog was fine for about probably three weeks. So they didn't really see the worst parts that I had to see. That's another story time. I'll probably make a video about that coming up soon. Um, but anyway, I didn't see the bad thing. So they were watching my dog. They talked about decorating the house for Christmas. Now this was like way, it wasn't even November yet. Like we're talking end of October. So I was very, very, very confused. Um, but it's not my place only. So I was like, you know, that's fine, whatever, cool. So they actually were gonna decorate. I was at dance practice, so I just left my dog there. Um, and I came back and all the lights were on. The house was completely a mess, which is whatever, you know, it's not just my place. Um, I had like a chair that was in the living room and they'd thrown it in my room, threw other stuff in my room. And like, I'm talking not like placed in my room. Like I couldn't open the door because there was a chair blocking it. Um, and then my dog was just sitting on the couch with like a lamp. <laughs> face towards him so it was like the most weirdest experience like I walked in there was just a light on Theo and nobody in the house so I was kind of bothered to be honest and I didn't really know how to handle it because I kind of felt a little weird for the past few weeks before that like nothing had happened I just felt like there was something off and something that they weren't telling me so I went ahead and I just grabbed my stuff I grabbed my dog went to my boyfriend's house and left it alone I came back from my boyfriend's house with my dog because I knew that like there's nothing I can do, you know, I have to do it. So then that night I knew that my friend Gabby, the one that I just talked about, my freshman year roommate, she was coming the next night. So I was getting ready for her. Also, we had a game in the morning. So I knew that like, whenever you have an SIU game, we have to get there like 8 a.m. that day before to go through every single step of the game. And then we come back later. So I knew I had to get up early. Well, they like to party. And by that, I mean like, have music blaring on the TV until like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., whatever, cool, like that's fine. So I texted them, I said, hey, please be quiet. I have to get up in the morning. And also my dog, like Theo could not deal with sound, you know, and I mean, that's, that's annoying in itself and I totally get that, but he couldn't deal with sound. So I was like, okay, whatever, like Theo's literally barking as well as I need to sleep. So they wouldn't be quiet. They actually turned the TV up. Nobody texted me back. 
and that was that so i got up at like 7 a.m to get ready to go to the field and i saw them out there and one of them looked at me looked at my dog and went in her room like they had finally went to bed i'm not kidding you 7 a.m so they had been partying all night and having this music blaring all night and then i looked at we had like this little board in our kitchen and i looked at it and it said your dog peed here thanks and put a line and drew like to the pee on the floor which by the way it ended up being wine it was not in pee um i had not had theo out there so there's no way that that could have happened as well as i had taken out the trash for the following two like the two months before that i had taken out the trash i had done the dishes and also like i'm very i want everything is done a certain way so i knew like i have learned now that I cannot expect everyone to be as clean as me. I cannot expect everyone to have the same thoughts as me. So it's whatever, but I had done everything. So let's say that my dog did pee, okay? Why would you not have just cleaned it? Like that was so passive aggressive to be like, your dog peed here, thanks. Instead of just like being a friend. Because at that point, all that had happened was, you know, they decorated without me, which was fine, whatever, but they threw my stuff. So that made me mad. And then this happened. Then they were loud and wouldn't be quiet. So whatever, I left. I was beyond mad at first I like took away the sign but I was like you know what I'm not gonna take like I'm not gonna be that way so I left or I went to my practice and then I came back got ready for the game and then Gabby was there well we were watching TV before the game on the couch and that's the first time I had seen them since they wrote that sign so obviously I wasn't gonna be like how's it going so we just kind of looked at each other's like maybe small talk I don't remember but I was using the TV in the front room the TV was one of theirs we all shared it no big deal that's how it is with the four person roommate like usually you share one person's TV so me and Gabby were watching TV I got ready for the game we left for the game we came back whenever we came back she had taken the TV out of the front room so I don't know I was very confused because we had all used it so at that point I knew it was weird so whatever me and gabby were getting ready we were just gonna chill that night i ended up having another friend over so it was me gabby and another girl they were like having another party out there after the night before which is whatever you know like do whatever you want um but like i had walked out there and they were like looking weird at my dog and we're like oh that's the dog that's mean which theo had never been mean to them at that point like i said they watched theo one time and let him out and he wouldn't come back in because he was just like like i said he i don't have anymore um he wouldn't come back in so they were just they thought like when really they should never have let him out like they let him out without a leash and we live in an apartment complex that was like right by the highway so it really made no sense why you would just let him outside but anyway i guess that made them mad so they were like oh my gosh whatever i picked up theo was doing my own stuff like i'd said hi to them a little bit was in my room well they left and i was like you know this is just such a passive environment. Like, I just don't even want my stuff to be out there. Like, if they're gonna take the TV away, if they're gonna be rude to my stuff and they're gonna write on my board, your dog peed here, like, it was just all disrespectful. So I ended up taking all my stuff that was out there and put it in my room. Like, I put the clock in my room, I put the <laughs> rug in my room. Like, my room was so crowded, but I just did not wanna deal with it anymore. So I ended up going like we had some wine, we were just chilling. We ended up coming back in my room because I heard them coming back because they left for the bar, like their whole group of people. Um, and they came back and they were screaming, screaming. And I like, I had all of it on my phone for a really long time and I finally deleted it because it like if I didn't have the confidence in myself that I have, it really, really would have hurt me. Um, they were saying that I was the B word, that I was the C word, that I they never liked me anyway, that they had tried to like me for two months, but I just was so annoying. I was so mean to them that they had. So I had been in like a room before um, and I had switched rooms. So we used that room to like other people to stay in, which was fine. Uh, but I paid for that room. So like if anything damage happened in there, like it would have fallen back on me so i was just like i kept my hamster in there and i said that like you know people could sleep in there if so and they had friends stay in there too um but they were like yeah we went in her room and we threw her hamster which is like so disrespectful um then they're talking about how theo is and how my family's crazy and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree and how insane i am and how i just get everything i want and i'm gonna have to move back home and then they were like we're gonna make sure that people are outside while she wakes up because we're gonna beat her up and they were like well you'll go to jail like just wait until you're of age wait until you're of age and then they were like well who has to who has to know we can just sit here and say it was her it was her she's the one that punched you first because there was no witnesses like they were having this whole plan to beat me up 
and at this point like my friend Gabby she has anxiety and she was like sitting in the bed like shaking and my other friend like I was trying to just like calm Theo down and I was just sitting there and we were like recording it and man like I just didn't even know what to do at that point well then we put the phone underneath like the door and they started putting their fingers underneath the door and they were like she's in there she's in there and they were banging I ended up making like people outside my door saying they were gonna beat me up in the morning so I ended up crawling out of my window and it, like I just took a bag of everything that was valuable to me um, and I left and I ended up staying with a friend that night um, which was like, I literally had my dog in one hand, bag in the other. And I was super scarred. I had to go to work that next day. Well, they ended up breaking into my other room. Um, the one that I had like my hamster in. They broke into that room and ended up staying in there. And like, oh, it was just so, so bad. So then I waited that next week. I went back to my, um, apartment complex. And I went ahead and I told them, like, I was just, I kind of explained it, but I didn't show them proof because I thought I would have to show proof. And they were like, dude, don't worry about it. Like, that is extreme. So they ended up giving me a new apartment and I moved all my stuff before they were back. And they had, like, one of them had let me borrow a phone case, which actually, yeah, no, one of them had let me have a phone case, okay? She was like, you can have my phone case, I don't use it anymore who why would you borrow like why would i why would you expect me to give that back when she gave it to me but after i moved out they were like if you don't give me that phone case back i'm gonna tell the apartment complex that you stole it from me so i just gave it back to the apartment and i said just in case if they tell you that i've sold this this is that i want nothing to do with them and that was it and i blocked them on everything and i saw one of them at the bar afterwards and they were like we miss you and it's just like it really sucks because i was close to one of them the other one not as much but i was really close to one of them and like i think that always hurts worse like whenever you're really close to a friend and they don't stick up for you and they're the ones calling you these words and they're the ones letting all these people be rude to you like it really sucks i'm over it now um i it, it really opened me to a lot of new things i made a new roommate i was able to move in with one of my good friends like truly it was it needed to happen it helped me find myself all these kinds of things but if you're watching this, I'm not mad. And we both just had to grow up and we both probably made things wrong. It was just really intense and I wish it wouldn't have gotten as violent as what it was, but we all grow up. So that's my story time. That was my second time living with random roommates. Um, will I do it again at this point? Probably no, that really did scar me. Um, but it made me who I am today. So <laughs> I'll be back next week. Um, comment below if you guys have any horror stories because I've heard some bad ones out there like mine's pretty bad but I've heard some really really bad ones so comment below and I will try to reply as much as I can so thanks see you guys next week bye